Hi, I'm Symphoniers, and today we're taking a look at Admiral Brass Unsinkable. Uh, fun fact about Beckett Brass, if you're unaware, is the uh, the model for Beckett Brass, like the woman she's based on, is Jason Rainville's mother. I believe she passed away either uh, like during or near Ixalan, the original Ixalan's release. Uh, so I personally was just very hype, weirdly hype for um the the Beckett Brass return just because I don't know. Uh, I think it's neat. I think it's nice uh, to have like a kind of commemorative continuation of uh, Beckett Brass. The actual deck itself is very straightforward or like very simple. We don't have a lot of the fun pirates that got printed into this actual commander deck, uh, into the actual precon, so we're kind of cobbling together a uh, thematic list, uh, cramming in new cards, OG Beckett Brass as well, bunch of original Ixalan pirates. Um, we don't use all of the worst ones, Direfleet uh, Neckbreaker is probably, like, the floor, roughly. Uh, we're running Hostage Taker and stuff, too. Uh, Ang uh, Angrath's Marauders as, like, top end or a goofy thing we can do. We can chuck it in into the graveyard with, like, a Glintorn Buccaneer or something and reanimate it with Beckett Brass. There's a very soft kind of discard sub-theme uh, that we have with, like, Rowdy Crew, as well as Windfall and a Big Score and one or two other cards like that. We have some uh, things like Curate 2 that surveil and put cards into the graveyard for Beckett Brass to reanimate. Um, we are playing one or two just very generically powerful cards in, like, Time Warp. Uh, Raghavan's actually on theme. It is a monkey pirate. Shadow Spear, very powerful equipment. We have one or two things in this deck, like Captain Storm, that just can get very big very quickly. So that's why we have, like, Shadow Spear uh, to throw on a big pirate, crash in for a bunch of damage. We can actually tutor for the Shadow Spear with the Deadeye Quartermaster. Uh, or we can also grab the Belligerent, which gives us a future side effect that is very powerful and helps the kind of goofy, <laughs> goofy pirate deck actually compete. Uh, we are running a handful of interaction in just like, uh, Blood Chief's Thirst, a couple of murder type things. We have some card advantage, uh, in like Black Market Connections, Phyrexian Arena, as well as the Call of the Ring, um, just for recurring, like, low-cost, high-value card advantage. Uh, Liliana, The Last Hope, just because I was like, hey, it mills things, it removes stuff, it fits into the deck pretty well. Um, yeah, uh, I think that covers more or less the list, but bunch of pirates go burr. Eh, I don't know. Uh, if you like the deck deck and like the video and all that, click like, subscribe, and etc. And let's get on to some actual gameplay. This hand is fine. Um, don't know if we prioritize carries ever or the Arcane Signet. Uh, do the Dragon Skull Summit on one. I guess we maybe want to, like, jump up to Windfall. We can pitch Carrie Zev and get her back with Beckett Brass. Or Admiral Brass, unsinkable. Um, so that... Yeah, 4-4 four, four first strike mana seems decent, so... I'm kind of into that. Uh, ooh. More acceleration in Mind Stone. So that's fun. Hmm. Oh, Kindred Discovery, too? We get to do our, like, t yeah, this nonsense? Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to Windfall. We probably don't need to actually do the instant speed timing here. I'm just being diligent. Um, do this, Pitch Care Zev. Uh, resolve. This stuff happens, we draw some good lands. Time stream navigator is a good one. Love extra turns. Uh, ju just do all our like goofy big enchantment setup before uh, stuff happens. Uh, I'm not going to burn through treasures and stuff right now. Maybe we're su no, we're fairly far away from the city's blessing at the moment, or we'll we'll be a lot closer in um one or two turn cycles. Oh no. Okay. Uh, we need to get some bodies on the field pretty quickly. <laughs> hmm. Uh, I don't necessarily want to throw Mum under the bus. 
Uh, we can do reflections and just chuck the time stream navigator. One of the... Um... <coughs> Sorry, still slightly sick. Um... Yeah. Do this. I don't really like burning treasures here, or in this way, but... Gives us another blocker and helps keep our really good enchantments alive. Um, assuming that they don't have fight spells or whatever. Um, I guess we block with the actual time stream navigator because Beckett Brass can get the uh, real one back. God, they have a fight spell. Okay. <coughs> Great. I love it. It's totally cool and good. Uh, I will... At the moment, I don't actually know that, uh... Extra turns or, like, time stream navigator stuff is... Beats keeping our really good enchantments alive. Um... Ah, uh, why is our mana like this? We're very close to being able to... Actually, we're not that close to it. Uh, let's get a, um island, I guess? Hmm. Just wondering if... Sorry. Checking a thing, checking a thing. Whenever cast... Um... This is probably weird. I'd like to do this on my turn because we might draw into sorcery speed stuff that is cool and relevant. Or just a bunch more lands, okay? Uh, that part of things is less than ideal. Hmm. A lot more mana to work with now, which is good. Ton of fight effects, which is concerning. Um, I really wish we had a way to deal with the Sunder Shaman or the, the Naeth. Uh, we're running, honestly, like more interaction and stuff than I usually run in historic brawl lists. So I would love to draw any of it. Um, pass to blockers. Uh, we're giving them a lot of card draw, which I don't <laughs> love. But, listen, we'll, we'll play Beckett Brass, we'll navigate a time stream or something, it'll, it'll be great. Forget about it. Oh, right, we have a bunch of triggers here. Um, decline the Iron Craig, we mill a bunch of junk, we draw a card. Uh, keep the real one. Decline the Iron Craig again, mill some more cards. Rowdy crew and things is not the worst. Uh, we would like Time Stream Navigator. It exiles itself anyway. Um, no attacks. Do the Time Stream Navigator thing. Yay! Extra turn. We have given ourselves some breathing room. Spyglass Iron, not very high impact, if we're being honest. Staunch crewmate. Black market connections. Hmm. Um, Angrath's thingamajig. Make them sack something. Please get rid of the Sunder Shaman, I don't care about your command. <laughs> um, it, yep, it makes more sense for them to keep the thing they can recast pretty trivially. Staunch crewmate. Um, oh, bunch of things. Uh, Grab the Corsair Captain, Darfly Daredevil. Oh my. You are a magic card. Um, name Pirate. Do this. I am glad we did the... Uh, target feature creature. Creature feature? 
oh, everything's tiny, isn't it? Fight spells are not actually that good for us. I got really excited about that, and I was like, oh, wait, it's kind of bad. Um, the Corsair Captain can help, and I guess we will get Beckett Brass. Um, doing stuff. Let's move to combat and get something back from the yard. Uh, attacking Direfleet Neckbreaker? Sure. Uh, take action. Belligerent's nice. Um, not a huge attack here. But we get a bunch of kindred discovery procs. Uh, I'm just gonna go to damage. And then we are going to prey upon... Eh. Eh. Do this. We do lose, like, the anthemy effect thing, but it, listen, it's it's fine. Um, do a Wily Goblin here, just because. Might actually make more sense to do the Black Market Connections. I don't think it's super duper important. Um, or the belligerent, or we can just do this anyway, that's fine too. Why not both? Uh, discard six cards, one, two, four, five, six, six, just chuck all the lands or whatever. I, oh, I should have tossed the Angrath's Marauder, actually. Um... Why are you playing a sweeper in your creature deck? Also, that's very, like, very okay for us. Beckett Brass does reanimation things. And we have a black market connections to hammer on now, so that's fun. Um... Just gonna jam some cards and do some stuff. I guess we could just hard cat the Marauder. Hard cast, hard cast the Marauders too. Um, I don't know if this matters. Red, uh, Beckett Brass, unsinkable. You see, our opponent committed the critical error of trying to sink Beckett Brass. Uh, she is in fact unsinkable. Um, decline the Iron Craig, mill over a bunch of removal and land. Shadow Spear, hi, oh, you're good. Um, decline. Hostage taker is a good one. Um, the belligerent has not dropped summoning sickness yet. Oh, what do we want to do here? Uh, should we just be mean? Make sure, or like, mean is relative. Take a look at their hand and make sure they're not running more sweepers in their creature deck or whatever. Um, if I didn't put a reliquary tower in this list, I really should. No sweeper. Oh. Balaged recovery? Because they do have the play pattern of um, get, burn down the house back to hand. And that seems tedious. That seems like a play pattern I'd like to discourage. A kindred discovery fires. Uh, bing bong. Yeah, everything else is just also very functionally similar in terms of like, well, this is a fight spell. I guess it's not that functionally similar, never mind. Everything else kind of develops board advantage in a way that I think we can deal with, is, is the actual thing. Um... Nylea, hi. Good to see you, good to have you. Deathbloom Gardener, uh, they are very dead. Um... Because, yeah, they can do this. But they lose a blocker. Beckett Brass is going to fire. And, yep. Uh, we can just, like, jam Angrath's Marauders or something in there and go to town. Yeah, that was a fun game. Um, took us a minute, or we ended up being a little bit slow just because we go for the Goofy. The goofy big typal enchantment setup, um, but once we get that and are just uh, copying things and drawing a billion cards and stuff, 
Oh, we we uh, murder our opponent real good. Uh, good games to the opponent. Sure. Just like early acceleration and uh, pirate support and stuff. I guess we don't have black mana, which is a little bit awkward, but listen, we can fish for it with a consider. Um, Windfall is too expensive right now. <coughs> right now. Um, I guess Sulphur Falls is a tap land. Uh, we will do the Iron Craig here. Um, help just give us more mana to work with. Probably do the Icon of Ancestry next. Um, do do do. Pirate. <coughs> Might just be faster to type pirate. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I guess we can back at brass. I would love a black source so we could just kill Nikonzil. That would be fun. Um, that would be relevant to my interests. Hmm. Uh, fish for a black source. I also really would like a black source. Huh. Do I just want both of these? I might just want both of these. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna be very lazy here because, listen, I want to be very lazy here. I guess they could have uh, counter spell protection. Or, sorry, like... Uh, shore up? Okay. Hmm. Interesting. In that case, I think we might be firing off the Admiral Brass. Hmm. I would like to get the Vanquisher's Banner down before we do too much stuff, but I'm concerned about dying is the thing. I'm concerned about dying and I would love to mill into, um, like a hostage taker or something. I don't know, let's give this a shot, see what we can grab. Or just pulling chump blockers, um... Yikes! Oh no! All this junk in the graveyard and we can't mill over a pirate? Oh, that's very bad. Uh... We do have 30 pirates in the deck. Um, so, you know. Would be nice to see any of them. Are we just dead? We're pretty close to just dead. Um, do, 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 Corsair Captain. Hmm. Uh, do the Arcane Signet, do this thing, and then do the Metallic Mimic. The sequencing is weird, usually you would want the Mimic down first, um, but we just need to do this so we can actually play out both of... Oh, we're dead in the air. <laughs> Got our fiery islet, um... Islet? Island? Whatever. Uh, the, the pain... pain <laughs> painful mana there. Just ensuring that we're dead on board. Woo! I, I mean, I could have not played that, but then we... Yeah, anyway. Anyway, this hand is... We have no black mana. I think I would probably keep this if it had black mana, but I don't really want to rely on just the curate to hit it. Not with the free mulligan. Um, this hand has black mana in the form of Signet and Raghavan on one, so... You know, fe feeling pretty good. Uh, just do this and play monkey. I guess we can't remove a one drop, which is a little bit awkward, but it doesn't matter. Yay. Um, do the signet here. I guess I maybe should have seen what we hit off of Raghavan. <laughs> Teferi's protection, sure. Uh, we just let that slide back and, uh, do things. 
I will Angrath's Rampage that nerd. Envoy's interesting with Zakama, or like I'm... Uh, it does make me wonder what the deal with their deck is. I will be responsible and attack here. Ooh, SRAM. So they're really doing um, enchantment-y things, huh? Uh, I'll play SRAM. We don't have that many equipments or vehicles, but we do have non-zero. Uh, Shadow Spear, the Belligerent. Probably something else that's not coming to mind. Urban Utopia for the opponent. They draw a card, do some mana fixing. Sure, Black Market Connections is nice. Our opponent set a stop on our upkeep for some reason. You put a stop on our upkeep. Okay. Weez. Um, <coughs> we have some op. I guess I don't want to do the neck, uh, neck break. <coughs> Pardon me. Neck breaker here. Uh, so trundle on in with Raghavan and Sram. Uh, I think we want to do the black market connections post combat. I will play good dog. I, I enjoy a good dog. Um, just draw a card. Sram doesn't fire because it's not stuff. Um, play out the black market connections, grab a swamp with the terramorphic expanse. And that will be our turn once this finishes resolving. Our opponent really just savoring those start and, or like, Beginning and end steps. Untaps? Uh, what? Brain. Um, Sithis. Yeah, so definitely like an Enchantress deck from the opponent, which is unusual for Zakama. I guess they're focused more on the like untap clause as well as the mana outlet, which is kind of interesting. Um, anyway. We would like to... Do we want a neck break? I kind of want a Beckett Brass here, or Admiral Brass. I'm going to keep saying the wrong card name probably, just because, you know, she's Beckett Brass. Now, oh, we would have liked some of those cards. Uh, the, the Reflections in particular is nice. Um, let's do the Warkite Marauder. Just because we can make Sithis a zero one. Uh, and that seems fun. Or, yeah, relevant to my interests. I'm maybe supposed to... Uh... Nice thing here. I assume they... Okay, never mind. I was going to say I assumed that they block the Raghavan, we could flash in the Dire Fleet Poisoner. Um, we just hit a land with the Raghavan, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, we could keep Raghavan alive anyway is where I was going with that. Um, Admiral Brass, do 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 do. I think they're dead with the Neckbreaker. I might be wrong on that. Bing bang bong. Listen, you don't put Black Market Connections in a deck to not Black Market Connections. Uh, Herald's Horn on Pirate. Uh, break some necks. Uh, why we... this is fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, take action. Hup. Cha 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 cha. Uh, Sithis becomes a zero one. Our pirates are big and scary, and they literally cannot survive this attack. So you know, uh, that's fine. We'll just listen. We don't need to cast it. We'll just kill them. Uh, good games to the opponent. I like this hand. Um, in particular, Shadow Spear with Captain Storm. Neat. Pretty cool and good. Um, 
big concern, I guess, is just the fact that we don't really have any interaction for Ivy right away. So that might be a problem. Um, the staunch crewmate can maybe rip into, like, a hostage taker or something. That would be fun. Or Admiral Brass can maybe get a flying pirate. We also have the Zephyr Singer, so we can at least, like, field a blocker and not, not worry too, too much about the Ivy. Do, 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 where's my trumpets in the other room? Um, the trumpeting nar for the opponent. Ow, nar. Uh, Guardian Idol enters tapped, Fathom Fleet Captain's a little weird. I might just do the Guardian Idol here, even though it's not, like, super exciting, or, like, our mana is a little bit awkward. I probably don't want to do this trade, actually, either, so. Very passive turn three for us, but... Listen, this is fun. We're just setting up for the murder. I kind of don't know... Oh. Okay. Well, isn't that fun? And very worrying. Uh, time stream navigator is a good one. So, staunch crewmate. Try to get something to work with. Harold, uh, Harold's horn is not the worst. Um, sh sure. Uh, pirate. Captain Storm does Captain Storm things. Um. If they wanted to trade a Nar and an Ivy for Captain Storm, I would take that. I wouldn't love it, but I would take it. And they don't want to do that, which I didn't think they would either, so... Uh, yeah, we just get in for four damage. I like this. This is very fun to me in terms of, um, leaning into Ivy in a unique way. Officer 1, Officer 2, Officer 3... So yeah, our opponent gets four sixth, sense, uh, sixth senses. Um, and that sure is a play pattern that exists. Um, yeah. Definitely wishing I'd kept or mulliganed more aggressively for removal, but listen, this is cool at least. If I'm going to die, I want to die in a cool way. Uh, time stream navigator is, I think, one of our only outs at this point. Or, like, yeah, even outs might be strong. Um, it's one of our, the only ways we can really wham-jangle our way into some... I don't know where that sentence is going. Uh, I think I also want to do this. Um, play out the Zephyr Singer. Yeah, Crewmate's a good card. <laughs> it's not super flashy or anything, but just pulls us into some stuff. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry, yes, we have the City's Blessing, so we have access to an extra turn here. Oh, we lose so hard. <laughs> Oh boy, um, yeah, they get to wrath our board. <sighs> um... Can they... I wish stuff like this resolved faster, or this is where Arena... <coughs> kind of slowly animating things is not... not the best. Yeah, so we're, we're almost certainly dead, especially if they have, I just like any kind of power boosting effect here um, makes their team of sharks lethal. The Nar spits out another Nar. Storm Chaser Drake. Uh huh, uh huh. Um. The Shore Sharks go burr. Only the skeletons get haste, not the pirates. Hmm. 
That's unfortunate. Uh, back at Brass, try to spin into something. Uh, I don't think we hit anything relevant. Um, time stream. Mm, I guess I'm not thinking about this properly. Or like, we can do staunch crewmate. Uh, time warp would have also helped bail us out here. Um, just cast cards to cast cards, or like, just do do the thing. Wow, cool Spectral Sailor. Uh, and then... I don't know. Kill me. Our opponent's deck is cool enough that I think... I would like to let them cook. Is this interesting as a viewer, or just like... Yeah, again, this is a spot where I wish the stuff just worked a little bit faster. Because they have had lethal for a minute here. Um, honestly, I was hoping they would have something, or like a funner final card than Weaver in Season or whatever. Like, just something higher power. But that's fine, or like, good games to the opponent. This is sure. This hand is fine. This hand is fine. Um, we don't have any black mana, which is awkward, mostly for Admiral Brass. Um, but we have a lot of stuff that we can do with, like, two and three mana. So that's nice. Um, I was gonna say, I kind of want to get up to the Belligerent, but... Uh, I don't know. Do this. Esper Sentinel goes burr. We might be very dead, too. Actually, hmm, I may be supposed to mulligan more aggressively just because if we don't kill Mural immediately, we lose, pretty much. So, you know, that's sure a way a deck can be. Uh, get the belligerent down, that happens again, yeah. Sun Scorched Desert for the opponent pings us. Siege Veteran goes burr. Drawbridge hastes in Siege Veteran. Um, are we just doing Beckett Brass here? Probably, probably. Yeah, like play out Beckett Brass, crew the Belligerent with her. Oh, okay. Huh. Sorry, I'm wondering if uh, we can hostage take the drawbridge. I'm gonna say that that's good enough for now. Um, like I think this is worthwhile mostly in that it buys us a turn cycle of Mural not attacking. And Mural is scary. I enjoy Mural not hitting the face. Like this is pretty functionally similar to just removing Mural, because hostage they can do the hostage taker thing, put Mural back into the command zone and have access to them back uh, again after like a turn cycle or two. Basri! I like Basri, if you couldn't tell from it being my avatar for several years at this point since Basri was released. Um, I wish we got another Basri card. Okay, so we would like to do what? We can Crashing Drawbridge, I don't know that that matters. We can Direfleet Daredevil, that does not do enough. Opponent's Graveyard, specifically. Hmm. Um, yeah, sorry, I think we want to move to combat. Uh, back at Brass. Whenever... yeah, okay, sorry, just double-checking that the belligerent doesn't require... Um... Doing stuff. How do we want to do this, actually? Or, sorry, I think we send... Hostage Taker into Beckett Brass, Basri, the belligerent at face? 
we could do everything at Basri, and that would definitely kill Basri. Okay. Hmm. Fall back. Kind of odd. Uh, Iron Craig off the top. Uh, listen, I don't negotiate with Esper Sentinels. Um, set. <laughs> Dumb. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Icon of Ancestry. Uh, Pirate. Um, and then we would like to Freebooter, I guess. If they have a Wrath or something, stopping that seems pretty good. <laughs> You are not immediately relevant. Sure. Um, but we'll take it anyway, because the other stuff is not going to kill me. Uh, I guess we can fire off the daredevil he here, too. <laughs> the drawbridge would also work. Eh. Um... Hi, Jonathan. When evil arises, I will be there to confront it. Cat. My pride grows. Johnny forward. makes a cat. J -j Johnny makes a cat. Our opponent keeping things back on block again. Um, I think once again we would like to crew with a belligerent. What do we least want to attack with? Probably OG Becca Brass. Um. Or maybe the Admiral, actually, at this point. Yeah, sure. Um, okay, send you a... Jonathan. Belligerent goes burr. Belligerent under... or Sentinel under the Belligerent. These are... oh boy, okay. Them's, them's some real, <laughs> I either have a board wipe or I'm giving up blocks. My time here. Um. Finished. Larcenist off the top. Uh, submit zero, submit zero. I don't really want to give them mana acceleration. Warkite Marauder, Liliana of the Last Hope. This is why future side effects are when really good. You're telling me um, no kill this thing. Raven man. Your day is uh, mine we burn. won't burn a treasure yet. Land tax. Oh yeah, our opponent is extremely dead, huh? Okay, yeah, we are... <laughs> um, I'm a little surprised they don't play out Mural earlier in that game. Uh, I think Mural can really help stem the bleeding for them. Uh, we do, of course, disincentivize it with the Drawbridge Hostage Taker move, so I guess we, like, successfully do the pi uh, tempo-ish element of pirates and then just use the Belligerent to generate a huge resource advantage. So that's neat. Um, yeah. I <coughs> Good games to the opponent. Glinthorn is double red, Glinthorn is double red. Eh, I think that's fine. Or, like... I guess we can free mulligan more aggressively, but we do, uh, we will now be able to get to double red with the evolving wilds, so that's something. Um, although honestly, letting Lockthwain come in untapped, which is to say searching for a swamp with this evolving wilds, might be more important. Um, I'm going to Cavern of Souls here and say pirate, and do the guardian idol. So our man is fine now, basically. Um, Cranko's command. Sure, that is concerning. Um, yeah, Narset with token generating instants and sorceries is pretty good. Um, I don't really know if we have much of a game plan here aside from, like, just set up our pirate value stuff and try to beat them dead. Uh, I would love to get to some interaction or something for Narset, because, yeah, she is a uh, concern. Uh, Fathom Fleet Captain. <laughs> 
We do have the Kite Sail Larcenist, I guess, which is something. Uh, Beckett Brass, Cavern of Souls here, maybe being relevant versus our opponent. Does seem like the type of deck that might be playing counter spells, even though I think counter spells are quite bad with this NAR set. It's a weird deck structure thing that I think a lot of players. I'm not saying our opponent's doing this or I don't know, but a lot of players I've seen that play Narset and stuff tend to cram counter spells into uh, that deck, even though they don't really work that well with how it wants sequencing and stuff to... Sorry, we milled over no pirates with Beckett Brass. That is not great. <laughs> um, take two. I don't think they have anything that kills Admiral Brass there, but listen, sometimes you just want to be safe. Um, kind of want to get this thing cooking. Sure, we'll we'll be semi-aggressive, or like get this down, get the Glinthorn Buccaneer down. Um. We can discard the Larcenist if we want to. Uh, at the beginning of that player's next end step, draw a card if they didn't attack you. I will not let them produce a bunch of tokens. I don't think pushing a few points of damage there is worth giving them a huge number of bodies for Narset to lord over, or like to do the prowess anthem thing. Turakenerud! Kenrud? Sky Knight. Uh, our opponent definitely busy being concerning. Um. Hmm. So. Combat your turn. Ugh. Should we just do this and, like, deal with Faramir? Um, submit zero. I don't love this, uh, specifically because the Faramir trigger doesn't go away this turn cycle. Um, however, I guess we can just convoke things too, or like do Larcenist, Buccaneer, uh, uh, sure? Sure. That's kind of unnecessary to tap like that, but now our entire team is flying. Um, yeah, I guess that's fine, or, like, the flying is relevant. I, my brain, why did I... This is Flash. <laughs> um, yeah, I definitely was supposed to not do that, but uh, we wait out the Faramir trigger. Um, and we'll figure some stuff out next turn. Narset happens. Clap, 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 clap. Mm-hmm. Oh well, indeed. Um. Them's some attacks. I will take these. They do have the Faramir treasure. I think the blocks here are good enough or like relevant enough that I'm willing to risk um infuriate sure things go burr uh we somewhat like them using their cards defensively like that we still get one of the tokens which is totally okay Akadim's awakening hmm Um, so Narset's real scary. Take action. No stuff because it wasn't convoked. Um, bing bang. Bing. Bruh, attack with those three for the moment. Zephyr Singer has vigilance. Remember that Zephyr Singer has vigilance. 
Um, spit out a nerd with the thing, do the Glenthorn Buccaneer stuff, because we don't have any pirates in the graveyard right now. Uh, Black Market Connections, sure. I say like we could have done it again. Uh, we're out of red mana. Black Market Connections is not the worst here. We're in a slightly weird position for it, like... Um... They, they can do a big scary attack. And potentially kill us. So, you know, that's a concern, but we have a handful of blockers, so... No, uh, no, they could still produce lethal with the right cards in hand, like a team or a battle rage or something for double strike. Narset recasts the infuriate. Um, Narset stack goes brrrr. Flames of Angkor. Uh, so they draw some cards and hit something for five. That is a gross spell. Uh, a braid happens. Mm-hmm. Tura Kenarud doing a lot of work here, unsummon. <laughs> Hand. Uh, the Infuriate, I would assume. Are we dead on board? We're dead on board here, right? Now they take out my blocker, sure. Yeah, that, that makes sure that we're dead on board. <laughs> Um, we would have been anyway. Most of the cards in their library are lethal. The Flames of Angkor, or whatever there is, especially gross. Um, good, good games to the opponent? Yeah, we just get... Uh, I, I probably was supposed to just wait out Faramir, but letting them draw additional cards every turn is... feels bad, I don't know. Sure? Sure. Interesting. Uh, do the pathway, do the spyglass siren. Um, our turn two is a little bit slow, or I guess we can just like play out the Agadim's tapped. Oh, I'll take this, actually. Just shut off a source of recurring lifelink for Amalia, or the Amalia deck. Uh, never mind, we'll play out our cane signet here. Um, as well as a source of protection. Hmm. I don't know how excited we are about getting Ruin Raider Town. The Corsair Captain might be high time warp. You're neat. Um, let's do this tapped. Malia's already fairly big. Uh, maybe do the Corsair Captain. Just because the treasure is going to give us a little bit of breathing room with our mana and stuff. Hmm. They just gained some life. Sure. No blocks hit me. Hit me. Hit me. Uh, okay. Doing a think. Don't mind me. Ruin Raider? Because we can get value from it this turn. Um, let's crack this map and explore. Honestly, I will keep this top because it's a very cheap Ruin Raider hit. Uh, and then we can flash it in to chump block the Amalia. Um, and that seems neat. That seems like a way for us to develop the board that turn, um, buy some time. And not die. I love not dying. It's pretty cool and good. A Spectral Sailor, flash that in. I guess we could double block the Amalia here too. Oh, that's maybe just fine, isn't it? Um, slows us down a little bit. We can get the Ruin Raider back with Beckett Brass, or Admiral Brass. So, I think I like this, actually, now that I'm looking at it. A uh, Shipwreck Marsh. Are we concerned about... Uh, I think I like Admiral Brass here. I like to try to set up value stuff. We over some removal and things. Um, 
I like to try to set up value things before we do a time warp. Just cause that can be nice. Um, or that can help, like, make the time warp actually worthwhile. I guess I'll Zephyr Singer here, too. This is soft to, like, a sweeper, but, I mean, I hope they're not playing sweepers in their creature deck. Aside from Amalia. Um. Hmm. Soul transfer on Admiral Brass Rude. Uh... Admiral Brass back to the command zone. Um, play out a thingamajig. <coughs> Pardon coughs and things. Uh, so we can search for Angraths. Our mana here is awkward. Um, I really wish we had one more. Hmm. Sorry, what pirates do we have? I like a Dire Fleet Neckbreaker here, actually. Like, just recast Admiral Brass. Um, Cause, yeah, this gives us... I don't know why they explode there. Uh, <coughs> we can do Recur the Dire Fleet Daredevil to use the opponent's soul transfer to take out the Sarah Paragon or something. Um... The Neckbreaker gives us an attacks for 13, uh, 15, which maybe they don't like or they just feel is very scary. The Rune Raider is also a bunch of ongoing value. Weird spot to surrender from them, although we are, like, we're pretty... I, I just wish they played it out for another, you know, turn or two, because we're about to start doing fun stuff. Or, like, we, we really win the game over the next turn or two, I think, and they just don't feel confident in, like, Kimball or whatever the rest of their hand is. Like, it might just be two lands and an unimpactful card, too, aside from Kimball, so that's maybe why they scoop there. Um, yeah. Anyway, good games to the opponent. Thank you for watching the video, and an extra big thank you to the Patreon patrons and YouTube members that help make these videos possible. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.